thefootballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you our 2012 NFL Draft Grade Special. We're looking at the Oakland Raiders. Let's go back and look at their draft selections to see how well they did this past April. Now the Raiders didn't have a first or second round selection due to some trades that they made last year and the year previous, but that doesn't mean they didn't walk away with some solid depth players in this draft. Now what I like most about the Raiders draft, you look at Jerron Kreiner out of Arizona, 6'4", 215 pounds, does a great job of using his body as far as to wall off a defensive back, has solid, consistent hands, and we know how much the Raiders receivers struggle with drops. Uh, throughout the season not necessarily Denarius Moore but the other receivers this guy will bring some consistency to that position and will become one of Carson Palmer's favorite targets I also look at a guy like Crystal Bilukidi out of Georgia State upstart program but this guy has big time talent holds his own at the point of attack in the run game you bring him along slowly underneath Richard Seymour and you have yourself a prospect later on he also may go to the CFL so that's something that you want to keep an eye on if you're a Raiders fan didn't like about the Raiders draft is the fact that they didn't come away with a tight end I think that's one element of the offense that's missing out there in Oakland they need an explosive player out the tight end position from the tight end position I'm sorry and they had a lot of great talent on the board in the third round that they could have taken I think they missed an opportunity right there to take a tight end with their first pick in the draft which was the third round I think that's one thing that they could look at to add in this offseason an undrafted free agent that has a legitimate shot to make the roster. I look at Lucas Nix, guard out of Pitt. This guy played a lot of football out there in Pittsburgh. And he's going to come in in a Raiders organization and have a legitimate shot to make a, his impact as a depth guy and provide some quality depth along the offensive line. I give the Raiders a C for their draft. Yes, they didn't have a first or second round pick, but that doesn't mean they didn't come away with some talented players. Like I said, they walk away with Jerron Kreiner in the fifth round. Uh, this guy's going to provide some impact for that passing game. I also like Tony Bergstrom out of Utah as well. So they got some guys who are going to come in, contribute, be some depth guys, and help keep this Raiders team in the thick of things of the AFC West, which I think they still have a legitimate shot of competing. There's a lot more talent on his roster than people give him credit for. They were that close to the playoffs last year. I'm looking to see how well they do this year if they can stay healthy. And this draft class will help provide depth to help them make it through those tough months and throughout the duration of the NFL season. I also want to give a huge shout out to these Raiders fan sites for always showing football game plan support.